Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Habage, Hardcore Vanilla Minecraft, coming right at you to hold on eternity. Let's load it up. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I am coming back at you here for a second Sunday episode. Um, because at least so far, uh, noise is, is under control and pretty well in check. We'll see. I'm sure I've just jinxed that. But uh, yeah, I recorded the second episode yesterday, so that went live this morning just so I'd have something up there. And um, we're going to take on this fortress uh, is our big plan. As you can see we got some rail there and a couple pillars we took down too just to kind of set up our base camp. But we are very much ready to go. Uh, the only thing we'll really need to do is keep an eye on our torches and our bow. I guess I must have had a spider web from somewhere. Although I don't... Ooh. Oh, I was thinking that was a... Um, spawner of some kind. Uh, now this is nice. We can we can open all of this up, have a bigger little area to work out of. But until I've kind of gotten a feel for the lay of the land, see like lava. Um, we'll just kind of uh, keep our room a bit small. Now, I don't think if this becomes a problem, oop, we can um, you know what, maybe let's do that instead. Keep this a little lower profile. So this is uh this is just the kind of episode I think I need today. Um, it was a rough night last night. I gotta tell you, beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful weekend continues, but uh man oh man, my Colorado Buffaloes. Oof oof. There's been there's been some tough times in the last oh, I don't know dozen 20 years now it's uh it's really tough when you know you kind of get on board with a, a sports program when they're at the top um and then after that they uh, never seem to get back to that kind of level again it's a little tough, tough to stomach. So, what we haven't really come up with here is a great uh, system for the rest of this stuff. We'll put those in. Um, let's go ahead and... This all can go open. You know, get a more open floor plan, right? Lots of feng shui and everything going on. And again, this is a little unnecessary, you know, I think is the the actual truth, but at the very least having a big space like this helps us find our way home or can 
show it off from a distance if we find that there are um, other chambers that open into this. It rarely happens as such, but um, when you can find a mine that Uh, sets up like a big cross cavern right to where you get it. That's wonderful. You know, you just kind of do your thing. Here we go. Getting getting a little more access here. Let's just do all this. And I think, let's go from there. And that our current state, about the only thing we really want to worry about now is getting overrun with creepers in this area that might upset all our chests. Uh, I don't I don't feel super threatened. Uh, we haven't even seen a mob yet. A little it's unsettling. It's like the calm before the storm or something. Okay. Now. Let's. See what we can do. Hopefully we're going to need all those for our. Why is that taking so long? Um, for all our goodies, our ores and our coal and all that. Um, and I think base blocks, construction y type stuff, we're going to do here. This was backwards, could have done that a lot better. And then. We will take these four. Uh, maybe we can go over one, two, three, four. Now I know that one is kind of filled up, but we'll we'll see it. And we may need to just, you know, borrow back into these a little bit because most of the time we're not going to be doing just a hole digging, right? But in theory, um. Here we go, there and there. There, there, there. Alright, so system makes sense. We got two. Oops. We can maybe do 
guys just start here. There. All right, now we got a system we can kind of run with. And there's our nice lit area. Let's go. So I think what we'll maybe start out with the intent of is clear the holes and then once we get a section done um, I thought that was a slime uh, come back for the loot and goodies sound good chest so our chests, one of the rare but awesome possible items, the enchanted golden apple. Uh, we would also gladly take some name tags, um, records, spawners. Don't obviously they're not chest loot, but uh, getting some would be nice. Uh, huh. I don't know if the shears are as fast as the swords, are they? It seems a little slow. Glad to hear the mobs, though. I want to come down here and just have it in peaceful mode. We're playing hardcore. See you, mobs. Must be above us, I'm guessing. I barely saw him, so I don't know if you guys would have, but creeper. Oh. That didn't feel like just a source there. That feels like the upstairs where all this noise is coming from. Seems like it got a little drop above. Yep. Call all your buddies. Stay longer.
right. Let's let's do a quick. Oh, we got a lot of room. Let's see what we got. Ready? Come on, and chain of golden apples. I'm just a regular one. All right, we got some powered rails, some detector rails, some torches, which are actually nice, and then seeds and iron. Eh, still fun. And I do like to just pop all those. That kind of fills our inventory, so let's run back. And we're going to do that there. This is a bit unusual. We've got a couple things that can go direct into the goodie box. And then we've got... How did all that end up in there? Uh, did I just straight up miss? Might have. Right, everything else we want. Yeah, I'm guessing I when I emptied that other box to try to put everything together. I don't think that stuff was just sitting there. That is an ore. Are we that? F oh, there's the 42. Oh, we can't put any of those in. All right. Never mind. It's all good. That goes there. And then we start here. And we are now... Wait, ready for more? Don't add an extra stick, too. I guess not. Alright, we'll be a bit cramped, but I think in caving we're going to run through those pretty fast. Let's go ahead and... This, see if it connects to anything. Um, perfect. Just the way I wanted it, actually. And then we got this cool. Like within caves and all that, sometimes you get with the mines. I I think they have a higher spawn rate anyway, but a lot of times the mines are just cutting through the ore that was already in the the biome when um, the abandoned mine got added. And that's my understanding of how the generation and all that works in these. Is you get a world, right? You you make your seed. And it generates the biomes and all that kind of stuff uh, off the seed. And then when all of that is created, or, or when you generate a chunk, it will then use, you know, whatever the calculations are, and go, okay, this chunk here needs to have this feature. And then it cuts them through. So ravines and caves and all that kind of stuff. And that's where sometimes you may find an ore or whatever. And, you know, you, you may be used to, okay, this is a, a coal node. It's going to be double, 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 go vertically like that or whatever. Sometimes they get clipped. Uh, so you only get partials and you may find just odds and ends of little ores that don't continue quite as far as some of your other worlds, or if you're just uh, grid mining. But this is already pretty good for, <coughs> excuse me, 
what we said we wanted. Oh, there is a potential for trouble. We can maybe do recommend this <laughs> go upstairs and clear the monsters first if you, especially if you're trying to figure out hardcore I get a lot of comments you know like oh man it's crazy you're doing that in hardcore once you get to a point you know you're going to be like oh yeah I just want to go get the ore prioritize clearing especially as I always say the stuff above your head that's where you you know combination of factors is what's going to steal your world so uh, don't let mobs surprise you from above by dropping on your head and you'll be a lot better off uh, I just wanted to get that coal out of the way since we'd already worked on it and kind of clear the whole section hi <laughs> I know I was as surprised to see you as you were to see me it looked like Mr. Skeleton so I'm definitely not trying to hype this up as danger it, we still may find it um, but also kind of a celebration of the fact that hey we've got good stuff we're, we're at the place where we can uh, run through these and you know hardcore doesn't always have to be um, the approaching footsteps of death you can go and have some fun once you get to a point it's just hard to get there but go get your diamonds get your uh... there's a spawner we got some <laughs> Okay, well, that's kind of interesting, actually. Got lots of... Uh... Strange architecture here. Let's try to keep... Our... Exit clear or path to the exit before we go too long. And maddening as it may be, I'd kind of like to get the upstairs bit beyond us done as well. I'm going to try to make this. bit more obvious. I think this is pretty good now, but let's try to maximize our use of torch. Yes, that's right here. We'll come with practice. Okay, so we try to stack anything that we can, knowing that some of these will just grow as we go. It's a lot of good loot. Okay.
try here just to see if we can pick our way because we're kind of going in a big S shape here, right? So maybe this is why it's good to have lots of those big blue chests. Yeah, we just cut the corner there. Don't like how dark that is. All right, this is what we now need to get. Well, maybe not. No, this will go back around, maybe. Always feels like, you know, the classic uh, hedge maze, right? The idea you got uh, paths cut through trees and all that. And it's just, uh, yeah, just trim them. It'll be fine. It's this water here that I... think we need to deal with. This is all with the intent of making it easier for us to check out that zombie spawner. See what we want to do with it. If anything. But being in, whether that's a ravine or just a cave or what, a lot of the excavation around it is done. And I don't you know, I don't think I'm gonna do the big old we have the two spawners in one of those worlds. And I don't even remember which one that was rightly anymore. Um But it was pretty cool having those two side by side. I don't think um you know at this stage in this game, I don't think I'm gonna put that much effort into it. But it still never hurts to just clear and, you know, get the whole spawn area, drop them into a room. Because at the moment, we don't have a real source of zombies. And... those can if we did it right and I typically don't so it's not like a, oh I do this all the time let me show you how it's done um, but if you make like a selector system where you can isolate out uh, that's a decent source of villagers for curing and then you know throwing them in a boat setting up trades all that kind of stuff Okay, this looks much more cavey, but caves can sometimes jump us into other sections of the mine. Doesn't look like this is going to do quite that for us. We'll go ahead and grab a little bit of this. I mean, we were going caving after all, but... Get some of that precious diorite too. I need that to keep our uh, nether highways growing big and strong and full of little stations. I heard you, Skelly. Where you at? Where you at? Um, hmm. This was not exactly my intent, but it's a lot of coal.
And again, this is purely a trip of opportunity. You know, hey, what's out there? Let's just grab a bunch of stuff that we could use down the road. Um, don't have a real... <laughs> um, a real, like, we need to get two boxes of coal, coal or we need 14 stacks of iron or anything like that. Um, we just know we will need a lot of that stuff in time. So want to take the trip to load up. I think we're already to a point where we're going to have a very nice, comfortable level of coal. And that had been the main concern, is that we were always just kind of like checking our ovens and all that. And personally, I feel a lot better if I just have a big double chest stock of coal blocks ready to go. Don't have to think about it. And then when you're out doing other stuff and you just happen to grab some, it's like, oh, okay, that's just in reserve, right? You can kind of watch it. And are we getting closer or further away? Can't really see him. Don't need to anymore. All right, let's half this water. Squid. Definitely not going to be short of, uh, oh, he's done. Short of potential down there, but we're getting further and further away from our mine. That's not what we wanted to do. So let's grab these and kind of work our way back now. All we were really trying to do is clear above our heads. Uh, that seems inconvenient, so we'll leave it. Back to here. I just erased all my landmarks. Uh, shoot. There. <laughs> mine early turned around. All right, so this was the water over our area. Checking for open spaces there is the main deal. Let's 
Sounds like a spider spawner somewhere. It's uh, sort of problematic. We sent a whole bunch of mobs back down. This way, right? Oh, I kind of feel a sneeze. Sure enough, that was a sneeze, all right. I can identify my explosive noises. That sounded worse, I think, than I intended. Uh, not explosive. <laughs> Man. I was going to put a torch on one of those corners, and I kept taking out both sides. Let's do that one. Yeah, a little, little overkill. I don't know, I'm just kind of getting caught up in the gathering and clearing a little bit. Those thin little walls can make it such a tangle town of passages, and if you just erase, you're getting, getting lots of stone and a few other materials, I'm sure. That was just for me, nothing above it. Still not our spider spawner, but another cart. And yeah, we'll get back to the sp actual spawner that's behind us, the zombies. Whoo! That sneeze and nose blow break was brought to you by uh, those little nose hair trimmers. I don't know who. I mean, I guess it's any electric razor company makes those, right? That's kind of the deal. They've got the market anyway, so I don't think there's special technology there. Unless you believe, like, the, the infomercials with all the people at the mall that are like, yeah, they uh, they just lasered off my back hair and it feels great. I, you know, this is way better than when I got waxed. And it's like, you people get waxed? Um, you know, I, I'm a big, big fan. Personal hygiene and grooming? Yes, do that. But, uh... I don't know. 
first things first, I guess, you know, I guess if that was something I was looking to do for myself, I don't think I'd be headed to a mall. It's more one of those, like, I, I guess it's a, is it a salon or a spa? Like, I, I wouldn't even know. Like, hey, I'm a grown man and I need to get something waxed. Uh, yeah. So we know all those. Here we'll just try to keep topping things off. The loose coal is nice. I should pull that out, actually. Ready for more? All right, speaking of unexpected sounds, there was the belch rounding out the trifecta. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that's half our work already done for us there in terms of clearing the space around and setting up for a good little let's go ahead and take these. I'd really like to just get the chest, but it's so right in the middle of all kinds of activity here. We need to take care of the perimeter. Before we get to have our fun. Oh, mine chef, so good. I haven't forgotten all those mobs that, like, fell uh, either. I kept thinking we were going to see a whole swarm of... It was a bunch of creepers, some zombies in there. Uh, huh. never ends. Oh, that spider I thought was a creeper. The wood plank floor. So we think we could be up above whatever that ravine-y type area was, but I, believe it or not, I'd like to get back to those chests by the spawner. See what goodies we have. So I'm not going to try to go down there just yet. Right, it was back here. Uh, it's going to be tough. So uh, I think we came. Did we come in from here? No, we came in from there. Let's clear this out because that was a little confusing. 
There's our mean path in and out. All right. I think we've got this to a point. So what do we get? Strings. Wheats. Not, nothing too awesome, really. Horse armors. Fleshes. Some iron. And cat. There we go. And again, I'm going to have to make two trips now because not too much awesome. All right, let's... See, the clearing, it does take a minute, but eventually it starts to play back. Payback. Playback? Uh, maybe you, not you, cobble? Hey, we got some of that. Here, you, 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 <laughs> bringing that back. Goodies, uh, you, you, new option. animal -y stuff. Random stuff. Not bad. Nope. Oh. And here and here. Keep an eye on that. of that stuff, because we know it's all good enough, but nothing super awesome. Um, let's throw one there. So, you guys get inclined to the clearing of a month. So, I think that was our, our danger spot up there, right? Um, can at least clear that one. This is the rest of the room around, so why make that more complicated? Again, eventually, we would want to do that anyway, and let's do a that. Um, I don't have my sheet out. Toe. still have it listed as Desert River in Ocean. That's now our drowned farm. That's how old the sheet is. Uh, this is Zombie Spawner. And negative 
seven two one negative twenty fifty eight. We'll save on that. Um, one of the things that we could do um, easily, and, and you know, I'd, once you get to this point, I, I kind of consider like, oh, should I just change it all? Would be to grab a book and quill and carry all of our coordinates around with us in a in the goodie box, the toolbox, or you know, any of our various. Um, options for portability oops one too many uh, you know effectively do what I've done I I've never explored you know I know uh, what was it I watched I think it was uh, was Paul Soares Jr. content creator on YouTube I've talked about a lot still enjoy some of his stuff um, I think he played one of the mod kind of like worlds. It was like a castle. Um, and it was like somebody made like a medieval kind of story arc deal. And I don't know how much of it was his just kind of like role play within it and how much of it was by design but there was a lot of books that had like this behind the scenes story arc for some of the characters and uh it's pretty cool and i i know th the reason why i'm saying any of this is they were pretty substantial like you know there were multiple pages of a lot of text in some of those books so i think the capacity is there for them to go pretty far now all of this can pretty well just go, right? I think having checked the time, what we're going to do is cruise on back, unload this stuff, and then see how far we get in the next episode. Uh, I'll start wrapping it up and say, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you tuning in. hope you enjoyed the first part of our little mine adventure here. Um... Ooh, look at that. We are... Oh! What? Ooh. Yee. Uh, yeah, that's... Problematic. All right, I think we pretty well exhausted that first box. Except if it's stuff like... Um... Oh, I don't know. Gravel. Uh, tough. Deep slate if we get down that far. Any yeah, that kind of stuff. But there you go. We, we've got our storage system. We're kind of filling it up. Those nether bricks. Um, how did we end up with all that? That is bad news. So all the rest of these are full. Um, whatever. You know, it, it's it's a box. If we end up needing extra, we'll throw it into a mixed chest or even one of these blue ones if we've got so much ore uh, and coal and all that that we don't have room to carry it. Or we'll just go home. Uh, I think eventually we will make our way kind of directly to the surface, uh, find out where we're at, and go from there. Um, and... Especially with that spawner, um, we may end up portaling uh, around and just see where we where we can link that up if we want to turn that into a farm. We'll see. Anyway, um, 
this one's going to be a little quick. It's Sunday, and uh, I'm thinking with the timing um, that may may work for me. <laughs> uh, the short answer is we've got uh, got a couple games. I've got some interesting kicking off, and it's just kind of middle part of the day. Uh, we're going to see. Uh, I may do another one, just uh, switching over and getting some. Uh, you know, muted. We'll see how the games start off, but I may be back to do more. Otherwise, we will see you either this evening or for certain um, beginning of the week. So you guys take care um, whenever you watch these videos, whether it's today, tomorrow, uh, next week, month, year, or whenever. Uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, if you do, even if it's well after they've been posted, uh, drop a comment, hit the like button, let me know uh, how you tracked us down, if you've seen other stuff, or if you've got content out there that uh, might be related to hardcore Minecraft. I'd love to check that out. Or, you know, whatever you're doing. If, if you've got content out there, um, give a shout uh, a lot of myself and a lot of the other viewers are all all putting up some of their own gameplay footage and uh, it's fun to be able to share back and forth and see what other folks are doing in the game so uh say hi don't be shy we'll catch you next time but for now i'm gonna go ahead and save this world up uh didn't live stream someday and for now say thank you very much take care of yourselves everyone and we'll see you next time Bye bye